the Bet 365 handicap chases next. This is a 0 to 140 over two and a half miles at the top. We got Corletto Pertigo for Darren Thompson, King Partner for Leon Van Rensburg was a winner last week. Fabulous prospect David Hooley, High Admiral Paul Rhodes has also got Warbird. Both of those on the deck last week. Storm Crow for Padre Hogan, one Desta Fable for Daniel French, and Max for Alex Cherry making its seasonal debut back from last season and called in and ready to go. Off they go in this. Bet 365 handicap chase and they make their way towards the first of 18 fences they've got to get over and the field is pretty tightly grouped and Wandesta Fable is the first one to land and lands in the lead from Corletto Pertigo in second then Storm Crow is third and then Warbird with fabulous prospects as they get to the first of the ditches which is fence number two and they're all safely over that one with King Partner a winner last week just the early back marker but still a long way to go and they get to the third which they all successfully negotiate with one Desta Fable a clear leader and a short run to the fourth let's all get over that one nicely one Desta Fable now being joined by High Admiral from the Paul Rhodes yard in second then comes Storm Crow and the grey rider on the far side is Warbird as they get over that ditch that was the fifth and the back marker continues to be keen partner Uh, making their way towards the sixth of the 18 fences then. We've still got just a little under two miles still to race and one Desta Fable is clear by a couple of lengths to High Admiral in second. Corletto Pertigo is back in third. Then Max making his seasonal debut in fourth. Then Storm Crows after that one. And then King Partner and Fabulous Prospect. And finally the only grey in the field, Warbird, is the back marker. So they get to the sixth. All right, well that nice thing, except for Max, who won't ship the pilot on landing. Looked like he jumped it okay, and the jockey just went out the side door, so we've lost one, and that was the seventh they've just jumped in, that was the third ditch as well. And it's one Desta Fable who's clear by a good six lengths coming into fence number eight, which they all get over nicely. Storm Crow and the yellow jacket has just moved up into second, then comes King Partner and Corletto Pertigo with High Admiral on the inside and High Admiral right down on his nose there made a mistake which he's got away with as they come past the big screen past the stand past the winning post and we get a look at them from the ground and now we can see one Desta Fable is clear by two or three lengths looks like we've settled down to a camera angle from this side now then with King Partner second Storm Crow is in third and Corletto Pertigo fourth High Admiral is after that one who's plenty of time to recover from that mistake at the fence that will be the last on this circuit and then comes fabulous prospect in the purple jacket and the grey warbird is the back marker but again only a dozen lengths off the lead as they get over number 10 with one Desta Fable being the lead pretty much all the way Storm Crow second as they take another ditch and he's gone there to Leon Van Rensburg horse King Partner winner last week would have been a top tip for a lot of people for this one and another unseated rider and looks a pretty soft fall again that the jockey going out the side door pretty easily horse didn't appear to make too much of a mistake like Van Desta Cable did there and Van Desta Cable's now surrendered the lead to Coletto Pertigo but has quickly fought back into it though so it's Van Desta Fable leads over this ditch jump that one much better Coletto Pertigo and Storm Crow are uh, disputing second then comes High Admiral and then Fabulous Prospect and then Warbird and they're the only six left with Keen Partner and Max both out of it, but one Desta Fables kicked on again in the lead to Storm Crow and Corletto Pertigo. High Admiral next. Fabulous prospect looks a bit of a fabulous prospect on the outside for David Hooley. He's really starting to get going. Another winner yet this week. David Hooley had plenty last week though. And it's one Desta Fable in front from Fabulous Prospect in second. High Admiral is third. Corletto Pertigo fourth. Then Storm Crow and Warbird as they get over the 15th. They've got just three more to take now. And one Desta Fable's been in the lead all the way. But Fabulous Prospect, Corletto Pertigo and High Admiral are closing. They're all going 
over the third, last two more to jump, and it's one best of Fable leads by only two now. Two Fabulous Prospect is getting closer over the second, last they go, good jump there by Fabulous Prospect, has jumped into the lead, and it's Fabulous Prospect who's quickly powered in front, but now Corletto Pertigo comes into it over the final fence, they go, Fabulous Prospect in the lead, Corletto Pertigo getting closer with every stride, the post is coming, it needs to come quick for Fabulous Prospect, Corletto Pertigo's just got up to take it, Corletto Pertigo wins it, Fabulous Prospect second in Storm Crow, uh, and High Admiral and Vondesta Fable dropped away in the end after leading all the way round. But Corletto Pertico defies top weight and takes it after it looked like a fabulous prospect of taking it over the last fence. So Corletto Pertigo is the winner for Darren Thompson. Fabulous prospect for David Hooley second. High Admiral Paul Rhodes third. Storm Crow Padraig Hogan was fourth. And Warbird for Paul Rhodes ran on into fifth.